I think a lot of the criticism of the Occupy Wall Street movement has has been around, uh, you know, is this a movement that is anti-capitalism? Um, or is it, is it just a lot of jealous people who are jealous of those who have done very, very well? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think that at all. Uh, first of all, uh, most of the people uh, in the Occupy Wall Street movement um, uh, want jobs in this capitalist system of ours. What they want is the opportunity to work, to be productive, to contribute to society, to, to have a job, to provide for their families, and to pay their taxes. I don't see anyone uh, challenging that, that capitalist system. I don't hear anyone saying that, that we all ought to make the same salaries, that we all ought to be paid the same thing for, the, for, for wildly different jobs. What I do hear is saying that the, um, the wealthiest uh, have a responsibility to the rest of us. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, these people are not camped out at the uh, corporate headquarters for Apple saying that Steve Jobs should never have made all the money he made because Steve Jobs created things that, that we needed, uh, uh, even um, even things we didn't know we needed, right? I mean, that's sort of the American way. That's, that's capitalism at its best, right? Um, is the production of, of things that, that um, help the lives of, of those who can participate in them. Uh, they're not camped out uh, in protest against uh, Nobel laureates or uh, winners of the MacArthur uh, Genius Prizes. They're camped out at Wall Street. And, and the reason is that a few people have gotten literally filthy rich, not producing things, not crafting things, not thinking great ideas, but thinking of ingenious ways to make money with money uh, and, and coming up with uh, contorted um, uh, arrangements where they can't lose. You know, they sell stocks to, to one and then bet against them. And so I think it's, it is symbolic and I think rightly so that Wall Street is the target of this. I, I think we've seen Wall Street undermining the capitalist system because it, that system does uh, depend largely on uh, people trusting the system. And now they can't be sure that the broker that they're dealing with uh, isn't selling them something, uh, talking them into something, that uh, at night, after the, after the stock market closes, these same brokers are betting against. And, and so, in, in an odd sort of way, uh, Wall Street has become anti-capitalist. What, what we are talking about is a protest against those people who have actually preyed on the capitalist system, who have used the capitalist system in what I would call an immoral way um, to, to make vast sums of money while actually producing nothing. So the, the, the Occupy Wall Street folks are not protesting uh, uh, good pay for good work. Uh, even wealth for those who, who contribute uh, to employment and to the production of, of important things or, or, or even uh, services. Um, they are protesting this, this uh, almost uh, heretofore unheard of uh, manipulation of the financial system to benefit a very, very few people uh, at the expense of, of the many and in particular the most vulnerable.